Hey guys, it's me, Sienna. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to transform an old binder into a drawing binder, I guess. So, recently I just found this old binder I have from um, fourth grade reading. So, I need a, as you can see right now, I just have an old folder that I keep my drawings and stuff in, and I need a binder. So today I'm going to be transforming this into my drawing binder. So what I'm going to be using today is a pencil, possibly a stapler, all of my drawings and kind of checklists and stuff, and obviously an old binder. So to get started, I'm going to kind of clean out this binder. So first things first, I think that I'm going to remove the cover page. Just kind of take that out. And I really wanted to do this binder because if you look inside, there's this little compartment. Oops. And I thought that would be really good for keeping papers, loose papers and stuff in. So right now I'm just going to take this out. I'm just going to put all these uh, old papers to the side. And I will see you guys back right when I do that. So I cleaned out the whole binder, and right here in this pile, I just have all the old papers, so I'm going to put those to the side. And here in, and, eh, sorry, and in here, I found these little tabs, which I think will be very helpful for organizing. And they're erasable, so that I think I'm going to rewrite those. So here's what we have right now. Just an empty binder. Let me turn my camera up a little bit so you guys can see. Here it is, wait. Oh, I, you can't forget to take out these little tabs. Oh God, there's another one. What the heck am I doing with two of these in here? Ugh. Oh gosh. Okay, I got the pesky little paper out and here's what we have now. Completely empty binder. So now that we have our empty binder, I think we should start transferring. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite all these labels. Okay, so I love these ones because they are erasable. But what I would recommend is, I um, well, what I would say is don't do it with a, me a mechanical pencil eraser because that was really bad. But you might have to go over it multiple times because if you can see that, there's like a lot of residue. Um, but otherwise, they're really good. So, but you do want to have kind of a generally clean eraser. Where's my pencil? Ha, huh, sorry. Because a lot of the lead does kind of rub off on the eraser. And that, and then once it gets on it, kind of just rubs back on endless cycle. So now that we have all these clean, I am going to start adding the categories. So I think I will do, ooh, where's the first one? Shoot. I think it goes like that. And this one, and this one, am I doing this right? And then this one. Do it. That one's a little hiked up, but did I do it? Yes, I did it. Woo! Okay. So for my first category, I think I'm just going to do villagers. Because if you guys didn't know, I love drawing Animal Crossing villagers. So, I will show you a few of those drawings. Okay, here's Tangy. Tangy's my favorite. So, don't judge the orange coloring. I know it's a little heavy, but that's just because I don't have a very light orange colored pencil. So, there's Tangy. Um, I have, I kind of figured out how to fit four on a page, so that was very convenient for my paper. So, this is Puddle. Oh, my camera's being annoyed. So, this is Puddles. This is Francine, and I will be drawing her sister Chrissy, the Bubblegum Sisters. This is Bill. Don't know why I drew Bill. Whatever. Um, and this is Static. I kind of love the squirrels in general. Just saying. So here's Molly. Molly is my sister's absolute favorite. So I kind of had to draw it for her. It was on my checklist. And Liana wanted me to add Molly with a bow. So that is what is on this paper. So comment below if you guys think my drawings are good, if I could do some work, because I'm open to suggestions. So here's Ribot and Sherb. 
Sherb is kind of the cutest girl ever, so I kind of had to draw him. And Ribot. Not so sure about Ribot. I mean, I don't really love him, but kind of the fact that he's a robot and there's a ton of corks and screws and stuff, it made it a really fun villager to draw regardless, so I am glad I did that. Sprocket, though, I'm not so sure about Sprocket. Sprocket? The Rockets with Sprocket. No, sorry. Um, so comment below if you guys want me to do Sprocket because I'm just not sure. So I kind of have these cutouts and it's very annoying to get these back in the folder, which is why we are doing the binder. Okay, boom, folder. Okay, now I have made way more drawings than that. I made like at least 15, but my friend, she is a diehard Animal Crossing fan. Sorry, she's a diehard Animal Crossing fan and she wanted me to draw 15 characters for her. So I know that's a little extreme, but it was just a really fun project overall. And I can draw all of them, not all of them. I have not drawn however many of them are. Wait, let me Google it. Okay, 397, there's 397 of them. You know, that really bugs me. Can't they just do 400? Why do you have to end it at 397? So I also like to do the special characters. I did draw Daisy May for her. I haven't tried Flickr CJ, but I am willing to do that. And I, oh, take a look at my shirt. I have drawn Timmy and Tommy, cause they're just little raccoons. Oh, if you guys want, I can, just comment below if you wanna see this, but I have figured out a hack. Because I know some people hate how t in Nook's Cranny, Timmy and Tommy follow them around. So if you have the fully upgraded Nook's Cranny, I can show you how to actually trap them. So comment below if you want to see that. Back to the video we are actually doing instead of just suggesting them. Okay, so I'm just drawing, writing on the binder because it feels easier. So, ah. Ooh, can of pencils acting up. Oh my gosh. So I think for the first one, I'm going to do, just do villagers. Ooh, that is really, I might need to use my other pencil. This is really bad on the um, little laminated thing, whatever. I'm trying to use my neatest handwriting. Boom, villagers. I totally just spelled that wrong, shoot. Back to the writing board. E, it's an E, Sienna. Oh gosh, now I have to squeeze that S in somewhere. Do I have enough room? Yes. Okay, and we have the villagers tab. So where's the next tab? Cause I kinda wanna get these in the right order. Boom. So villagers next. Like I was talking about, I'm gonna do special characters. Ooh, I haven't drawn any villagers' houses, but I might add a section for that. That would actually be a really fun project. So comment below if you guys wanna see that, or don't wanna see it and just wanna see some of the drawings. I don't care. I'm still gonna try it regardless. Um, I'm gonna have to really squeeze this one in. Oh no, I can just do it up and down, yeah. So I'm noticing you kinda of have to go over multiple times if you're using pencil. So you can erase it, but if you're using pen, you just can't erase it. Oop, I messed up. Just erase it. Ooh, so rubbing it kinda screws up the whole thing. So now I gotta restart that. So I will be back whenever it is that I will get this one done. So I did it. I did it with my mechanical pencil. So as you can see, the difference is very, like you can barely read this one because it is in mechanical pencil and it's thinner. But that's kind of the way it's gonna have to happen. So let's get going on the next one. So like I said earlier, this is going to be the houses tab. Boop, boop.
Sorry I'm so silent when I'm working. Um, so this one, I hate when it kind of gets off center. It really bugs me. It is erasable, but trying to do this in as least time as possible, but still make it look nice, so. Boom, Villager's House is done. So what I'm kind of noticing is it's overlapping a little bit, so we're gonna have to keep that in mind. All right, two more tabs to go. What should I do for the last two tabs? Um. Ooh, logos. What if I did logos? Like the Animal Crossing logo, Mario Kart logo, or Mario Odyssey logo, Just Dance logo, etc. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. That's that's what we're doing. Ooh, and the last one will be for checklists because you know I love my checklists. And I actually, so I thought I would need a stapler, but I didn't because I do have some checklists for the projects me and my friend are doing. I'm not mentioning her name because I don't know if she's okay with it, just to be on the safe side. But I can't show you what it is, what these projects are, because they are confirmation, confirmational. Oh, that word really bugs me. Like, confirmed, confirmational. I never know what word it is. But I got my, I stapled it together. We have our, what is this called? Oh, drawing to-do list. And other to-do lists. And if I do get allowed to tell you guys, I probably won't, to be honest, so now I'm just killing you. But we are doing a project very soon that I think you guys might enjoy. Not sure who you guys is, but yep. So we will let you know. I, I will let you know on that. So I didn't even write that label. Now where's my mechanical pencil? There it is. It was right in front of me, as most things are. I like to tap it after each one so that I can kind of get it on center. I can change these up whenever I want because it's kind of just general, not general, erasable. Oh, I should move my camera down here. And maybe just lists in general. Okay, so now it is time to transfer everything to the binder. So I think first I'm gonna put like all the papers in and the organizers are actually gonna go in front of them. So last one will go first, essentially. I might need like sleeves for these, if you know what I mean, to kind of put them in. So that's, I don't have that right now. And I'm not gonna kind of punch holes in this yet. Actually, I am. Okay, I'm back. I got my triple hole puncher. Uh, I kind of like the triple ones better than the single ones because it's just easier in general because you kind of just put it in instead of having to like make yourself do it all even. Okay, so I'm going to now, I think, do this one, my checklist right now, just so I can put it in. I don't know how this is going to work. Ugh, two papers, it's so difficult with this. Okay, I'm kind of just checking because I don't know how this is going to work with actually like staple in it. Ooh, that's going to go. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. It's, it's all good. And this is going to be hard because it's on like a bed. Just stick this in here. Stick this in the middle slot and boom. That was really clean. Oh God, oh God, it's stuck. Oh, perfect. We got them three holes. So now I'm just going, I, I would suggest putting the tabs at the end so you can kind of, instead of just being organizational, they can also be functional. So you can kind of pull the tab and it'll bring all the other papers over and you'll open to that section. So, ooh, perfect fit, I love that. So, and where's my list one? Oh, this is the one? I'm very confused. Oh, okay. Okay, no more confusion. Boom. What's the next one? Logos. I haven't drawn any logos. 
Okay, put that in. Nor have I drawn villagers' houses. Nor have I, oh, I don't have any special characters right now. I'll be drawing those very soon. And villagers, finally, something I actually did. It's time to transfer these. So I'm gonna remove all of these papers, these like cut ones. Be gone with you. I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna see you. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these pre-cut ones yet. Okay, so just pull these out. Wow, that's actually thicker than I thought it was. How many papers are in here? Okay, so I guess I could just do three at a time if I wanted. So let's just have them all right set up. So we got Ribbon and Sherb. We got my. We got Puddles, Francine, Bill, and Static. I might put that at the top. I'm very proud of that. Mostly for just fitting them all on one page. Okay, and then we just put this in our fancy schmancy paper doohickey. Yeet that in there. Pop that in there. Ooh, is that coming out? That's not good. Please don't screw up my drawings. Listen to that. I don't even know if you can hear this, but listen to how clean this is. That was not as clean as the two paper. Oh, God. Oh, it always gets stuck in the last one. It freaks me out. Um, the three ones are also good because they kind of collect all the paper clippings at the bottom. So that's helpful. Ooh, that's very clean. Let's do this. So, and then we just put villagers at the top. And close this up. And here it is. You can't really see any papers right now, but it's there. I, I promise you. So we have these guys. Ooh, that's like cleaner than most binders would be. So I think I got this binder at Michael's. I don't remember because it was fourth grade, but they're really good. Actually, yeah, it was Michael's because I got some for this year. We got Sherb and Rivot, and then we got Molly. And I hate, you, if you see like white parts that have a tiny bit of color on them in my drawings, I always like to color them slightly, just because if I don't, it just makes it look like I didn't even try, and I did try, I swear. So, ooh, that's a really good idea, actually. Hmm. So, I might, in the pocket, in my empty pocket I have, and this, this little beauty of a pocket, I think that I'm either going to put blank paper but I might put pre-cut drawings in that actually, because it would be an easier fix, more convenient. Just put tangy in there, and I could pre I could pre-cut these. That way I can have them already on there and then just draw with them. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I only have one piece of printer paper right now, so I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go get some more printer paper. Okay, I'm back with Lord knows how many more pieces of printer paper. So I think that I'm going to cut these two at a time or three at a time, maybe a few two at a time just to get that really satisfying crunch. It's not even a crunch. Yeah, I'm going to do these a lot at a time just to get this done fast. That wasn't as satisfying as I remember. So now we're doing this. Oh, God, this is totally going to feel so hard, but I'm still going to try it. Ooh, this one has been cut to imperfection. You're gone. I don't want to see you anymore. I might need to cut this in half just because it's scaring me a little bit. So this is six sheets of paper, so I'm just going to cut it down to three each. Just kind of estimating where these little metal things are. Yeet. Ooh, that was really bad. That didn't work well. All right, I cut it like way too close to the edge, like at, their, at like an angle, so that's really annoying. So I kind of need to be more careful about that. Nika. Oh, that didn't, okay. This, uh. What I wonder is why are there so many adults on YouTube? Like, I, I don't know, but I feel like it was like meant kind of for kids. So then that kind of that idea kind of failed. So they had to ah, oh, that's really annoying. So now this is a double hole. I have to fix that. Oh my, it's on three sheets of paper. Mm. 
So, uh, back to my, what I was saying. So, since that idea failed, they made, like, a YouTube Kids. So, I don't know about this. That's just my opinion. But I just feel like there's so many adults on YouTube and not enough kids, if you know what I mean. Ooh, did that work? Please tell me it worked. Please tell me it worked. Yes! It worked! So let's take out these, what the heck did I do? What did I, ah! Oh my God, what? Ugh, I did it to these ones too. Wow, so impressed with myself right here. So I think it's just official that I suck at cutting this. Oh geez. I tried a panic attack. It's still slanted, but it's it's decent. That's all I care about. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these right in here. I feel like this, this one only has one tab to open it instead of two because I find the two tabs just really annoying. Perfectly annoying, no. Oh, if these holes were way off, that's totally gonna just come off. 100, ooh. It just made it on, so very proud of myself for this. Okay, so now I have to figure out, I have to devise a plan to salvage these papers. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, so I got these Avery reinforcement labels. So, ugh, it's kind of dusty. So I should not put them in my bed. So, ooh, whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is these are basically Sorry, stickers. If you can see this. Oh, that doesn't have yellow on it. What the heck? None of these have the yellow ones on them. Okay, so here they are, and it is basically a sticker with a hole in the middle. So it's kind of to keep the space, because if you kind of pull on the paper ones in the binder, it can rip and then fall off. That's what's happened to a lot me a lot of times. So I have these, and basically I'm just going to put them on both sides of the screwed up ones, screwed up holes, to um, kind of reinforce them, make them look better, and not just make them look better, make them actually holes. And boom, so I, my biggest worry is that I won't line these up and it'll just kind of be sticky. Ooh, that was perfect. So we got this, kind of goes off the edge a little bit, but I'm chill with that. Boom, one paper saved. Now we got like seven to go. So I, I don't know why I'm using yellow for these. Maybe it's cause the binder is yellow. I don't know. I just chose yellow. Maybe because it was the one color that was missing from all the other sheets. And stick, oh gosh. I did it right again. God, I'm a god. Okay, wait, where's the other paper? They were literally in front of me. Okay. Oh, the double hole. <clears throat> I hate you, double hole. So I think I'm just gonna put the, the double holes, I might just put it around the original hole, also to kind of just close off the other one. And then I kind of stick through this, like, other part. Yeah. I'm not even sure if you're only supposed to put these on one side. I kind of do them on both just to be safe, but whatever. No, why do they make these uneven? You couldn't have put one more on this, guys? Look at this, I did like four sheets and there's one left. Why do they do this? You couldn't have made it one longer? Ridiculous, okay. Stick that on there. Oh, last paper, okay, I have to use it. No, I have yellow on this sheet. Let's be stupid and use it, okay. Yeet, I did it. Okay, now I can put these away. And, oh God, oh shoot. This is wrong. Oh, okay, there we go. Stick that in there and put that there. Throw that to the side and it just popped open. That's really frustrating. Okay, now that I've salvaged these papers, I'm going to put them with the rest of the printer papers. 
Okay, so I ended up putting the papers that I screwed up actually in the back so that in the front of this, I kind of have this. So I put that in front of the villagers tab. So it actually worked surprisingly well, the little Avery stickers. So if that does happen to you, I would recommend having those. Cause you can see right here, it's kind of sticking out a little bit, but it actually makes like another hole and I found that really convenient. So that's done. Uh, and here I just have a little Tangy hanging around. Tangy's my favorite villager of all time, even though I don't technically have her on my hand. Uh, do I have another piece of paper up here? Shoot, of course. Of course I don't have a piece of paper. Uh, huh. So I think that since I don't have a piece of paper right now, I will just put one of my proudest drawings in the cover. I might do an actual drawing for the cover. Just not sure at this moment. So I'm just gonna put these in the cover. And hopefully I can get them out eventually. Ah, get in there. No, it's, uh, it's going to the side. And I don't want it hanging out for obvious reasons because that would like mess up page and lots of things. Ooh, yes, did I get it in? Boom, okay. So cute, they're laminated, beautiful. So that is kind of like lopsided if you know what I mean. So I might fix that later. And I have these two labels that I did have. And honestly, if I could put those back in, I would. So I might just write on the side of them, like on the other side, to kind of repurpose it. So just kind of write drawings on there. We got a little drawing sign now. I hate how lopsided that is, so I probably should have put like ACNH on that, like ACNH drawings, because that's basically what this is. Okay, kind of wipe this off. Boo. Okay. This eraser on my mechanical pencil is going really fast. I'm trying not to use this that much. Oh gosh. Lead from my pencil just jumped out. I want. He's like, I want to be free. So, A. C. N. H. I like to. I don't prefer to draw um, new leaf characters because the only reason being they're a little. They're like not as high quality. As New Horizons, so it's like easier to kind of look at them and be able to copy them back onto the paper if they're better quality. So I do stick to uh, New Horizons. Okay, it's still a little off center, but it feels a little better to me. So, boom. Um, one second. Okay, Animal Crossing logo colors, brown, green, blue. Yellow, yeah, yellow was the one. So I have some thin markers of those. So just to kind of make it a tiny bit more colorful because it's really bland right now, I'm just going to outline it. Ooh, that's a good idea. So, sorry, what I was thinking was maybe I could draw the Animal Crossing logo, but like a really big, like the size of a whole sheet of paper. So that could be the cover for this notebook. Oh yay, it's so cute. So I might actually do that for the rest of it.
Oh, God. My green is running out, so I try to use it as little as possible. But this honestly did kind of feel like an appropriate time to use it. Even though it probably wasn't. But if I kind of let it recharge for a long time, just get the ink back in there, it does work surprisingly well. Ooh, I love that so much. There were exactly, there are exactly eight letters in drawings, so I could do six of each, no, set three of each color. Yay! So this was the old logo. And this is the new logo. Um, so I accidentally had two in these, so I might just put these this in the back to kind of cover up the old one. Oops. Yeah, that does work better. Wait, maybe it works better with this one. No. Okay. And then I'm just going to slide this right in here. And boom. Ooh, is that, what is that on the side of this notebook? Binder, it's a binder. Okay, don't know what that was on the binder, but I cleaned it because I don't know why. Whatever, probably like pencil or something. So here is my workspace that has Technically my bed, but it has become a disaster. So I will pick up this and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, so here's the finished product. Ta -da! Oh gosh. Okay, so on the cover we have this drawing. Uh, the binder clips do bother me a little bit. Not binder clips, the binder holes, but whatever. Okay, loose, pa loose like cutouts going here. Um, we have some printer paper that is ready for drawing. We got them beautiful tabs. Ooh, that works really cleanly. We have these drawings. Then we have empty tab, empty tab, empty tab, and lists. Okay, so I am overall very happy with this project. The one thing that I would change is I would draw the Animal Crossing logo, New Horizons, and put it this way, just across the whole binder, because I feel like that would give it a little better feel than just specific characters. Or since Tangy is my favorite, I could put Tangy on the cover. We don't know. But overall, I would definitely suggest doing this if you are looking for like a good maybe quarantine project or if you're just looking like if you need a binder or something and it's also a very good way to repurpose like old binders instead of having them take up old space so thank you guys for watching make sure to like and hit subscribe and i hope to see you guys next time bye